I pulled this turbo diesel engine into the shop and decided to remove the fuel injectors because it was running rough and smoking quite a bit at idle. And I pulled the injectors out and I've gotten, so I do this inspection immediately. Anytime I have the injectors out, I do this. And some of you are going to laugh and say, oh, Ken, I know why you're doing this. Look at that. Number one, number two, number three. Uh-oh. I couldn't believe it. After I ran into this problem on Digby, here I found it again. So this is a blood priority in my book. I am now checking every old turbo diesel to make sure I don't have this problem right here. And when I pull this pre-chamber out, look at the tip. You saw this in the Digby series. But here's another engine that has a blown tip on a pre-chamber. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> Now the engine was running okay at speed. It was running rough at idle and smoking at idle. Before I pulled this out, I did a compression check and I've got 350 to 375 on all these. So apparently this hasn't caused any damage yet. Now I'm gonna get a camera down in there and take a close look at it. I also cranked the engine over with this out to make sure no particles came out. I actually put a bag out here to catch anything. But it's pretty clean down inside and looks good, so I'm going to reinstall a pre-chamber and see how this runs. When you look down in the hole, you're going to see the tip of the gold plug. So a good visual inspection is going to require that you remove the gold plug so you can look down in and see the ball. The other thing you want to do is look at the glow plugs. If there's damage on the tips of your glow plug, it's a pretty good indication you have a problem with the pre-chamber, but this glow plug looks just fine. Now I'll get my light. And I can look down in there and see the ball. Now I'll take my wire. This is, once again, to make sure the tip isn't blown out because you can't see this. See, there's the ball right there. So you have to go in and go around the ball, kind of put a little hook on it, and then you shove the wire down in there. It's very unlikely you're going to be able to shove it through one of these holes here. But if that wire keeps going, it's a pretty good indication that you've got a pre-chamber that's blown out. So anytime, I'm going to warn you, on these old diesels, anytime you have your fuel injectors out, do a really good inspection of the ball and the pre-chamber tips before you reinstall your fuel injectors. I wanted to show you this up real close. Here's the damaged pre-chamber. You can see what's happened to the tip. But notice this pin right here is missing for the ball. Now that ball is located right in this section of the pre-chamber. It's designed to spread out the fuel when the injector squirts into the pre-chamber. With that missing and this tip gone, fuel is just squirting straight down into the combustion chamber. And of course, that's why you get excessive smoke and rough idle and so on. And if you're not careful, like with Digby, you can get a bent connecting rod. So if you have rough running issues with your car, this is something you definitely want to check out now that these engines are getting so old. So here's the pre-chamber that I'm going to put back in this engine. Now, these aren't available new anymore, but I have a good selection of these used on my website because I think in the future these are going to be like gold. I know this is a little bit of a pain, but if you've got those injectors out, you're rebuilding your injectors or doing a compression test, give your pre-chambers a really good inspection. Now you get to hear the engine run after I change that pre-chamber. You know, it's sounding really good. I think we dodged a bullet here because after test driving this car, there doesn't appear to be any long-lasting damage that was caused by that pre-chamber failure. But I've got some other videos on pre-chamber failure. You should watch those. It may answer some of your other questions. I'll put links below in the description. And of course, if you should need to remove a collar nut and a pre-chamber in your own engine, 
I have all the tools available plus video instructions so you can do this yourself. Just check the links below this video.